Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Level Automotive. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another quick video. So today we're going to be doing one on programming. I've been having a lot of people ask me recently uh, why I don't do programming videos. Um, you know, I just don't do them very often because a lot of it really is kind of self-explanatory. It's kind of procedural. Um, but, you know, I guess if you guys are interested, let me show you guys uh, something that I'm programming today. Now, what we have here is a 2009 Ford F-150. It's got the V8 4.6 liter engine and they replaced the ABS control module. Um, I'm here at the shop. This is actually my first time at this new shop. I know one of the technicians, so they called me up. They wanted to see if I can come down here and program this ABS control module. Now, I'm not really sure why they replaced the module. Um, that's on their end. I guess they found a fault code pertaining to uh, some type of fault inside of the control module. And so they decided to replace it. They did put a new control module in there. Uh, but because the control module is new, uh, we do need to configure it. We do need to write the VIN number into it. Luckily on these Fords, there is an easy way to do it. And we may actually be able to do it without having to use our laptop or our J box, which is our programming pass through device. We can actually probably program this one using something called PMI, which is programmable module installation, which is actually a function that's included in most high level scan tools. Whether you have the Autel, the launch or anything that has the OEM software, uh, it usually has a PMI function on there where you can basically take the information from the old module and move it over to the new one. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. We're going to try to do the PMI. Uh, of course, they've already installed the new module, but they still have the old one. And as long as that old one can communicate with our scan tool, we should be able to extract that information and move it over to the new one. So let me take you guys over to the scan tool and show you what we're working with. All right, guys. So this is a new Think Tool Pro. Again, like I said, most high-end level scan tools are going to have this functionality of doing a PMI under module programming. So if you look right here, you can see this function, module programming. But before we go in there, let me show you guys uh, what we're dealing with. So I'm going to go into system selection. We're going to go ahead and select the ABS system. And again, like I said, the new module is installed in this vehicle. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and read the fault codes. We're going to show you why the ABS and the brake light is still on. You guys can see this B2477. It says module configuration fault. Well, that's because this is a new module installed and it has not been configured or programmed. So we're going to go ahead and move back. Then we're going to go ahead and click on module programming. And you should be able to see a function for PMI, programmable module installation. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And you guys can see what modules you can do this for. What we're going to select is the ABS. And if you take a look here, it says programmable module installation is a program to set new module configuration parameters. Select yes if the available original ABS module is still installed in the vehicle. It is not. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and switch the key off. I'm going to plug in the old module. Then we're going to come back to the scan tool. We're going to select yes. And what this thing is going to do is it's going to extract that information. It's going to store it in the scan tool. Then we're going to go back outside, plug in the new module and let the scan tool write that information. So let me show you guys where the module is located. All right guys, so here we have the old module. Now the module on the vehicle, if you look down in there, you can see where it's located. It's actually easier to get it from the bottom side. So let me take you guys underneath. All right, so taking a look from underneath, you guys can see the ABS module there. And I went ahead and I disconnected it. So the connector's just hanging right here. Really easy access. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach the old one to this connector. All right, so I've got the old module connected. Let's go ahead and move back to the scan tool. All right, guys, so back over to the scan tool. I went ahead and I turned the ignition on. So we should be ready to communicate. Again, we're here in the PMI. I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes. It's telling us here, ensure that the module currently installed in the car is the old one that needs to be replaced. It is, so we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. Set the ignition switch to on, it is on. Now it's telling us to switch the ignition to off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the ignition off. Let's hit okay. Now it says here, install a new module into the vehicle. So let me move underneath and plug that new module back in. Okay, so back under the vehicle, I've got the new module reconnected. Let's go ahead and move back to the scan tool. Okay, so back over to the scan tool. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. It says switch the ignition to on. Got the ignition on, hit okay. Procedure succeeded. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Again, it tells us to switch the ignition to off. Hit okay. Now let's take a look at what it tells us here. It says the anti-theft malfunction indicator light flashes 
and there are DTCs related with anti-theft or engine cannot be started due to installation of new module. It may need to perform the function of anti-theft module matching. Uh, currently, anti-theft matching supports only some models. This function locates in special functions, body, security menu. Uh, select the function of PATS or remote keyless entry. It is not supported if there is no menu of this function under corresponding menu. So again, it's just giving us a warning if that pertains to us. I don't believe so. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is turn the ignition switch back on. We're gonna go back to the main menu and then we're going to select uh, system selection. We're gonna go into the ABS because there is one more procedure that we may need to do. Uh, let me show you guys over here in special functions. Um, this IVD, Interactive Vehicle Dynamics Initialization Sequence, I believe we may need to do that. So let's go ahead and do it while we're at it. It says here, ensure the following initial conditions are met. Number one, ensure vehicle is parked on a level surface. It is. Number two, don't shake or bounce the vehicle. Number three, ensure that you are not pressing the brake pedal. So let's go ahead and hit OK. It's telling us to start the engine. Now we'll hit OK. Performing test, function complete. Now we should be able to back out. Well, before we do that, it says here to switch the ignition off. Let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll hit OK. Then we'll go back to the main menu uh, once again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna read fault codes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the ignition on. We'll go ahead and read the fault codes and we'll see if there's any fault codes that we need to clear. Right now, there are no DTCs present, so we should be able to go back to the main menu here. Now I'm going to start the vehicle up. We're going to see if we have an ABS or brake light. And as you guys can see, we don't have an ABS or a brake light lit. So our programming and our configuration was successful. We are now done. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it was quick and to the point, but that's really what I was trying to do here. If you guys are interested in the scan tool, this is called the Think Tool Pro. I will be doing a complete review on the scan tool coming up uh, this week on the channel, hopefully. And I'm telling you guys, for the price, you cannot beat the scan tool. It's got so many functionalities that a lot of scan tools that cost more money don't even have. So definitely check out the link in the description. And right now, for a limited time, there is a coupon code to help you save 10% off your purchase. And remember that every purchase that you make in the video description goes to help the channel. And it does so in a way that it doesn't cost you any extra money. Anyway, like I always say, I hope you found the video useful. I hope you found it educational, informational. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.